Hello again, I am Blunty. I have a friend named Ali. She lives in Melbourne. I don't live in Melbourne, I live in Sydney. We hardly ever get to see each other except for maybe once or twice a year when I get down to Melbourne for some reason, like for example when I go down to PAX, and that's where some of you may recognise her from because she often pops up in my videos there. She's teeny tiny, she's brunette, and she's fantastic, and she streams over on twitch.tv slash Ali90, and I do suggest you pop in on her because she's a very entertaining streamer. Not gonna use that weapon either, because it is a bit of a waste. I'm gonna save it for someone. No! <laughs> Order switch. The biggest troll. I talked her into streaming about two, two and a half, three years ago. It seems like forever ago now, but I finally, I talked her into streaming because I knew she'd be great at it. She was resistant, resistant, resistant. She finally gave in. She finally tried streaming and now she freaking loves it. Uh, she was streaming from a laptop, which was woo -woo, a bit wibbly. So I custom built her a gaming rig to specifically stream from, you know, it had plenty of power, had a nice graphics card in it. What it didn't have at the time, because I didn't have a spare one, was an internal capture card. So she used the external one she used to use with a laptop. But now she's reached the point where she's decided to upgrade to an internal mounted graphics card which makes a few things a little bit easier she's been peppering me all morning long on twitter dms uh sort of trying to get me to allay her fears about her screwing something up on the custom pc i built her you know she doesn't want to destroy it or blow it up she doesn't want to screw it you know, i decided to make this quick video to both allay her fears and allay your fears about uh, mounting an internal capture card and it doesn't really matter which one you choose i've got a uh, ava media one here and a couple of different uh, uh elgato ones here both all popular choices they all have the same sort of connector on them so the process is identical for all of them except for the fact well of what software you install once you turn your pc back on obviously i'm going to be demonstrating with hd 60 pro because that's what ali is going to be installing it's also a really solid little choice there these days you know especially with the new consoles coming i would think seriously about going for the 4k variant and i do have a video and review coming up on the latest model of elgato's 4k capture card by the way so if you haven't done so already Here's the, here's the promotion thing. Subscribe, thumb up, ring the bell, make sure you're notified when that goes up because I've recorded a bunch of stuff for it already. And to just drive in the message about how easy this is an upgrade, I am going to do it with one hand. And I'm going to do it with one hand while filming myself doing it with my phone in my other hand. So multitasking, one-handed, capture card installation. That's how easy this is. Okay, so here we go. Quick switcheroo to the, uh, well, worse audio quality now that I'm using the microphone in this instead of this nice thing right here there's our hd60 pro we'll put that to the side right now now my all case is going to be slightly different most of them open up in a similar way there'll be some screws along the back edge here in this particular case uh, there's only the one this is the nzxt uh, h510 elite which i recently did this build in this is the linux machine we built uh, so we'll pop that off but mean to this anyway i want to see how linux deals with capture cards so this is kind of a two for one thing Let's put that glass panel to the side. Yeah, I wasn't going to sort of film doing this because it's, it's you know, I take this stuff for granted, but apparently not everyone does. So uh, I am going to need a screwdriver. Hang on. Oh, oh, there we go. Screwdriver. This is the one and only tool you will need to do almost anything in your computer, really. Now, expansion slots. Uh, these ones here. And if I can move my head out of the way of the light. There we go. Uh, so you got two different types. You've got the long ones and the itty bitty ones. Uh, some, sometimes the long ones will have metal on them like that, metal reinforcement, some other people do that these days. Uh, some are just plastic, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which ones you plug your card into. Your capture card probably has the short pins on it there. Most of them do, as you can see there. Short pins, short pins. But even if it has the short pins, it can still go into the long pin one. So my advice would be just to make sure you get enough space between it and your graphics card. So I probably wouldn't put it in that one, too close to graphics card. It won't hurt it, but, you know, these things generate heat, and these things generate heat, like you wouldn't believe. So give them a little bit of breathing room is always a good idea. So um, we're going to go with that one, just because it's shiny. Why not? So the first thing you need to do is you need to remove one of these blanking panels. So they normally have a screw. Sometimes it'll be a nice handy little thumb screw, so you might not need the screwdriver at all, but these ones do. So let's take out the appropriate one of those. Let's grab the screw over here. Okay, so we want to pop this one out here, so lefty loosey, righty tidy. There we go. So not only not only am I doing this one-handed while trying to film it at the same time, but I'm doing it with my left hand. And I'm right-handed and I just lost that screw. Don't don't lose your screws on the motherboard because the screws are made out of metal and you don't want anything to short out uh, on your motherboard there. So uh, 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 
if you're not doing this one-handed, that's much easier to do. Also, I really need to get myself a magnetic screwdriver. That really does make life so much easier. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do that, but anyway. So, back panel unscrewed, pop it out. Some cases, these will snap out. Some are just placed in. Most of them are just sort of hooked in these days, but some older cases, or particularly cheap cases, they might need to be wiggled and snapped out. Uh, you don't really need to keep that. You can throw it away, but I tend to keep them just in case I ever do remove something from the PC and I want to blank out the panel again, but they're not that important. They're not, they're not functional. They're just for them. Uh, all right, so that's the card I want. That's the one I want. Okay, so now we just pop that into the slots and that little tooth there, that is aligned with, I don't know whether I can show you, let's zoom in there. You can just see, get the light glinting on it. There we go, you can just see a little tooth there. You can see it easier on the plastic one. Uh, but that's there and that means you literally cannot put this in the wrong way. There is no way to put the, jam this in the wrong way. Unless of course, like I said, you have gorilla strength, anger issues, and you really, really, really want to screw it up. This is hard to do while holding the camera. There we are. So, the little back panel, and again, these are a standard back panel thing. Everything you plug into those slots has a back panel like this. Uh, they'll usually have a little slot or a hole for the screw to go back through, just like the plate we just took out, obviously. So this is the tricky part without a magnetic screwdriver and trying to do it one-handed. So we'll just try and place that screw there. Oh, oh I got the wobbles. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna just use my fingers on my right hand to try and locate that screw. There we go. Now, I don't have a medical condition. My hands just get shaky when I'm trying to do this. You know how it is. You're trying to be still or you haven't, you know, maybe I haven't had enough potassium today. I don't know what it is. There we go. Well, ooh, easy. See, I was, watching the, I was watching the camera, not what I was doing. I was trying to make sure I was framed up. I slipped off there, so there we go. So you don't need to do that up really, really tight. Just tie it enough so it doesn't rattle, basically. And that's that's job done. That's all it is. Put the back panel back on, or side panel, back on. And uh, even these are clearly labeled. Ins and outs. So you can go in with whatever you're going to record and go out again if you want to feed back out to a monitor. And I do recommend using that because while you can play through the preview on your capture software, there is often a slight delay involved in that. So definitely take advantage of the out go out to a separate monitor, because that is a direct pass-through that will avoid the delay of whatever the capture card is processing. So a little bit of tip advice there. So let's get the back panel. It's back panel, side panel. Use the right terms, don't confuse the newbies. All right, so in this case, it pops back on there. Locates, pop the screws back in, whether they be thumb screws or traditional screwdriver type, screwdriver type screws, normal screws. Yeah, tighten that up and you're good to go. All you need to do now is wipe off your horrific greasy fingerprints. Uh, I didn't actually locate that, did I? It's right late. Doesn't matter. In theory, it works. Uh, power on your PC, install your software, uh, and you're, you're good to go, basically. From then on in, it's, it's, all about, it's all about this side of things with the capture software. And if you need hints on that, well, maybe I'll make a video about that too, but uh, there's plenty of guides out there for that. Thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and I'll catch you next time. Which way am I looking? Actually, if I look in that camera, you should see me spotting the camera through... Where's my eye line? There are too many lenses. Where's my eye line supposed to go? Thanks for watching, I am Blunty, I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, thumb, comment, etc, etc. And Ali, you're welcome. Stop pestering me on the DMs. I keep telling you it's easy. I'm just showing you it's easy. Now say thank you, Nate. And give me a big hug next time we see each other. Job done.